Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Chubby Pop Chaser. It's me. Hello. Today, once again, I'm expanding, doing comics. I ordered, I guess you could call it a mystery box from Grant Comics. Link down below. I'll be scrolling around somewhere. So, it's not really a mystery box. You tell him how much you want to spend and what to give you. And he picks it out himself. He curates it. So it's more of a curated box than a mystery box. But guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, the bells. Well, let's do this. Once again, got this big box. Ugh, that's like 10 pounds, I think. What is that? 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Luckily, I got here in time because it was a big rainstorm outside and UPS decided to leave it outside without a plastic bag. So it's a little wet, but I don't think it's soaked through. So we're good. So handy dandy trusty knife. Let's do this. Ugh. So, yeah, I've seen other, you know, YouTubers and other people talk about, you know, Grant's comics and whatnot. So I was like, yeah, I'll give him a, you know, I'll give him a holler on Instagram and see what, you know, uh, he can make for me. And we chit-chat a little bit. He's like, I got ideas. I was like, all right then, because I got cash, paper, phone blocks, better than peanuts. That's good. Oh, box in a box. Already doing better than most people that I know. More foaming in the bottom. So right now, Grant's Comics, two thumbs up on the packaging. It's way better than uh, most people. Top section, modern. Top section, modern. modern, modern, modern. Top section, modern bonus books. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Grant, for the bonus books. Um... Uh, Anything else in there? Maybe, maybe put a hundred dollar bill in there. Empty. Ah, no hundred dollar bill. All right, top, top. So let's uh, just gonna turn this upside down. And, oh, ah! Hope that one wasn't expensive. Hold on, let me check real quick. Definitely in a pop protector. Oh, yeah. It fell on top of a box. Perfect. It was only Tony Montana. Tony. Hey, Tony Montana. Anyway, thank you, Grant, for the box, because I will use it to ship something out to somebody else. All right. We're going to go upside down and backwards. So here we go. Let's start it off. We got... Ah, oh, Mighty Thor. Oh, he says, hey, check inside. We're going to save that for last, then. But, it's, anyway. I'm going to show you again. The Hand of Death, Mighty Thor. 60 cent comic. Nice, nice. Thor. I'm slowly getting into Thor. You know. It is uh, exciting and new to come aboard. Anyway, if you guys mostly don't know the story again, <clears throat> I collected comics when I was little, you know, 15, probably from 15 to 20, you know, I had a decent collection of modern comics mostly because that's all I could afford. I was working at Wendy's, you know, making six fifteen an hour, nothing crazy, only, you know, 10 hours a week or 20 hours, whatever it was. So I couldn't go crazy on comic books. But I had a decent stack of, you know, your image, your spawns, you know, your spawns. What else was the image? Your Young Bloods, Wildcats, Max, Pit, right? Pit. You know, and then uh, one day, unfortunately, because back then I lived in a basement. Now I just use the basement as storage. I don't live here anymore. We kind of do. Not really. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, big, big rainstorm, basement flooded, books. Pretty much all gone, except for a handful, a couple in there, which is, I'll show you, which I'm surprised to survive, which looked in pretty good condition. Anyway, so now I'm trying to rebuild my collection. 
and uh, just do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Once again, enough to chit chat. Mighty Thor, he says, look inside. We'll put it over here. We'll look inside later. Next, Detective Comics, The Hud Pack, Part 3 of 4. Hmm, nice. It's a dollar comic. Early 80s, I'm thinking. Maybe late 80s. No, early 80s ish. Looks pretty cool. Grant Brafogel and Mitchell did all their artwork. Pretty cool. Boom. Detective Comics. Next is Fantastic Four. See, Fantastic Four, 75 cent comic. They keep missing the boat on this on this movie, because Fantastic Four is awesome. I don't care what anybody says. You got Thing, Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic, the, one of the best villains ever, Doctor Doom. I don't know what's... But now that Disney owns Marvel, maybe finally we'll get a decent movie. Hopefully. <laughs> Win a Toys R Us shopping spree! Yes! Where do I sign up? Oh, wait. Toys R Us no longer. Maximum value of $3,000. 75 cent comic. This was 19... What does it say? I'm going blind. Sorry, folks. 1980. $3,000 in 1980? Whoa! You can buy like half the store. The Micronauts. Nice. All its comics are coming up in a very good order. I mean, very good... Not order. Condition. Sorry. G.I. Joe, yes! Love me some G.I. Joe. Mm-hmm. The new G.I. Joe figures are coming out. Classify. Awesome. You should love the G.I. Joe cartoon and action figures. Who, who didn't really? Conan! 25 center! Conan the Barbarian. The first and still the greatest sword and sorcery hero of all. The Thing from the Tower. Nice. Very nice. Conan. Can never go in and go, go Conan. Can never go wrong with Conan. <laughs> What is this? 20 center? Weird Wonder Tales. Looks like he's being beaten by lots of mini things. I was kidnapped by a flying saucer. Wonder Tales from Marvel. Nice, nice oldie. Plus three more fright. Three more fright fought. Fraught. Fraught. Fry Fraud Tales from Worlds Beyond. <sighs> Let's keep going. Another reason why I want to downgrade my pop collection. Everything's starting to fall. <clears throat> Worlds Finest DC. Ooh, 20 center. This is a very nice one. Number 216 in March. My birthday month. Ooh. The Sons of Superman and Batman, co-starring in The World's Finest. Oh, pretty cool. 20 Center. All right. Continuing on. <laughs> Superman. Another 40 Center. Number 341. Two complete stories. Two fabulous villains for one price. For the price of one. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Can the Man of Steel outwit J. Wilbur Wolfgangham Con Man Supreme? Can he? Can he, folks? Very nice. So far, Grant, you're doing a great job. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Boom! Marvel premiere featuring 3D Man! Crisis of the Cold Warrior! Marvel's great new 1980s superhero faces. The Crisis of the Cold Warrior. Hmm. 3D Man. 30 Center. It's a 1977 comic. Boom. Right there. Very nice. Next. Marvel Tales. 
starring Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. The man called Bullet. He's fighting a man called Bullet. Very nice. Very nice. I'm liking this. It's all good stuff going here. Good stuff. <laughs> Marvel 201 presents Thing and the Yancey Street Gang. Uh-oh. Happy Death Day, Mr. Grimm. Oh, no. It doesn't sound good for Grimm. The 35 Center. Nice. The Thing fights alongside the Yancey Street Streeters in the most unlikely tale of all. Once again. Very nice. Coal. Ah. Uh, this is a classic. Everybody likes coal. Coal number three. Nice. Coal the Conqueror. The demon hordes of Thalsal Doom. Very nice. Coal. And bam! We got the Incredible Hulk. Marvel's TV Sensation, 1979, 40 Center. The Monster and the Machine. Incredible Hulk. Very nice. Power Pack. I'm not even sure what this is. Interesting artwork. You got a big hairy guy. A bunch of kids in the garbage cans. The power pack. Not really sure about that one. I'm gonna have to check that one out. Boom. Power Man and the Iron Fist, number one 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 sixty center. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. Who is he? I don't know. But who is he? Very interesting. Secret Wars. Oh, yeah. Everybody's favorite. Who is the Beyonder? First, number one in the nine-issue limited series. 75 Centa. 1980? Can't tell. Can't tell. Also, can't see because I'm blind. Just not sure where I put my glasses. Oh. That's a mess down there. Oh, boy. What if the Fantastic Four had not gained their superpowers? Whoa, what if? Really, what if? Liking it, liking it. 19... Not sure. Can't see again. Plus, what if Richard Ryder had not lost the power of Nova? Interesting. Marvel Age, 50 Center, 1987, it says. Summer, special summer fun issue. Ooh-wee. Summer fun. Well, it works because it it's getting hot out there. You got She-Hulk, you got Storm. That looks like Medusa with all that hair. The rest, I'm not even sure. Oh, sorry. Boom. Ah, Rom. People like the Rom. 63, Space Nightmare, 60 Center, ROM, Kazar, The Savage, 75 cents in the US, UK, it's 35 pence, Marvel Comic Group, really all these comics are pretty damn good condition, they're not, you know, 9.8, 10 minty, but... <laughs> In pretty good condition there, Grant. You keep your stuff very... Uh, Alpha Fly! Hey, hey, hey! Alpha Fly 13. You keep these in... Uh... Okay, sucker. The only way to get the lady is through me. Bub. As you keep... Oh, shoot. I forgot to show it off. Boom! There you go. Silver Surfer. 75 center number 2. The return to Zenla and Shalabal. Silver Surfer, number two. Nice, nice. The Punisher. Oh, you can't ever go wrong with the Punisher. The Kingpin wants the Punisher. Dead. Dollar Comic. Classic Punisher. 
Ooh, this is a thicken. The official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Book of the Dead Deluxe Edition. What is this? Seems like it's like some sort of encyclopedia. Of all like, I guess, dead? Dead heroes or dead villains? Pretty cool though. Looks like we're halfway almost done. Uh, what we got here? Iron Man! Nice! Uh, um, Iron Man! The classic orange, orange, classic yellow and red suit. Not the, uh, you know, the new suit, the war, war machine suit. Classic. Iron Man. Boom! Ah, the web of Spider Man. Spidey goes berserk! 25th anniversary, 75 cent issue. Number 13. Swip of Spider Man. Boom. The Uncanny X Men, 178. Nice. Hey, you storm there. That's a 1980. 82. I think it says. I'm so blind. I'm so blind. The blob I see. Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Storm, The Uncanny X-Men, number 178. He's amazing Spider-Man Gang War. The battle to become the new kingpin of crime begins. Gang War. Nice. You got your Hobgoblin, you got Flat Top, or whatever his name is. I call. It was called flat top after Dick Tracy. Not sure. Oh, there was like a bottom section. Bottom section. It was seventies and eighties. Goodness. Once again, Grant. Great job. Great job. Let me check again. Maybe you put money. Nope. Damn. I was just hoping. You know, man could hope, right? Oh, this is a thicken. Punisher. Bloodlines. Ooh, that's a nice, actually. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Nice heart. You, you got to give it up to these comic book artists because, you know, they could draw their butts off because I barely could draw a straight line and it kind of aggravates me that I can't. <laughs> Gwenpool! Number one. Nice. There you go. Marvels. Ah, oh, yes. I remember this book. The original one. Because I think this is a reprint. I think I had the original uh, trade paperback. I just remember that cover. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. What we got here? Batman Beyond Unlimited. Number 8. Nice. I like the artwork. Mm, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Batman Beyond. <laughs> Deadpool Back in Black. Number three. Merc with a Mouth. Digital Edition. Warning. Issue not recommended for bunny lovers. Uh oh. Like bug if you like bunnies. Might be a bad one. Put your back up there. <laughs> cable and X-Force. Yes, Cable's a classic. I love me some Cable. Very nice. Cable's great. I think Bishop needs to get more love. Bishop's great. <laughs> Captain America. I think that's our first Captain America. Hail Hydra. 105. Very nice. I got a lot of reading to do. That's all I got to say. <sighs> Again, Fantastic Four. For Yancey Street. Uh, 
Mr. Grimm and Yankee Street guys are very into this. It's number one. Been asking for for Yankee Street. Bam. Enemy. Ooh. Ultimate. Bendis, Sandoval, and Bonet. Do the artwork. Pretty nice, Grim. Looks like he's about to explode. Very nice, Grant. Grant, you're doing great. What we got here now? The Savage Avengers. Nice. Huh. Conan's an event. Savage Avengers? I don't know. Shows you how much I've been away. You got Punisher. You got Venom. Elektra. Wolverine. And Conan. Not sure what the guy in the white suit in the back is. Though. Boom. Electra, number one. Running with the devil. Electra could be, you know, could get some more love in, in the comic universe. You know, they had that one movie. And they were trying to bring her in the, uh, what, the Daredevil series. And then they, you know can to hold their Daredevil series, so I'm not sure where she lays in the plans right now of Marvel. Superman! You killed Krypton, and for that you must die. Issue 12. Again, Ben Dice, Reese, Prado, Albert, and Sinclair. Do all the artwork. Penning and writing. Pretty cool. Boom! Learning to Crawl, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, issue number one and a half. That's the first time I saw that. I like this uh, artwork, though. It's very nice. Schlott, Perez, and Herring. Very nice. Boom! Age of Conan, Valeria. She looks like a swashbuckler of some sort. That's cool. Boom! Captain America. Wanted for murder. Comic books are getting very, very, like, deep with their art and their stories. It's, it's very good. It's not like, you know, little kitty stuff now anymore. Now they're really getting deep and dark. So it's very interesting. <clears throat> what we got here? The Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice. Group, Rocket, Gamora. Iron Man's there. Star Lord. Again, Bendai Spichelli Honser. Number five. Guardians of the Galaxy. Boom. Join the X Men. Uncanny. Again, Bendai Bashald and Townsend. Number one. Very nice. Boom. The Savage Wolverine. Ooh. Very nice. I like this artwork. Always Wolverine jumping out with claws. It's always great. Savage Wolverine. Number one. Ooh. I would put down prices, but there's so many comics. Fear itself. What we got here? Hmm. We got Thor on the ground. Captain America, Wolverine, Spider Man. Very nice. Oh, don't fall. Boom. Head fall. We got Avengers. Ouch. Avengers number three. We got Hawkeye, Spider Woman, Spider Man, Iron Man, all on the cover. Oh, Grant, he, he did yourself way too too crazy. Avengers, again, number four. Was that five? Number three. Number three and four. Very nice. You outdid yourself, sir. I will be calling you again for another box of goodness like these. Uh, Thanos. Number three. Little baby Gamora on there. Modern goodness.
Marvels. Marvels X. Number two. Looks like it's going to be an interesting story. So don't fall on me. There we go. Phoenix War Song. Number 305. Whew. Very scandalous cover. I never really a big fan of Phoenix John, and Jean Grey. Not really my thing either. Oh, we're down to two comics and then the look inside one. Uh, DC Clayface. You got a Clayface. Durr. The new 52. Okay, Clayface number one, but it's Dark Knight 23 and a third. Okay, got it. Got it there, sir. Got oh, don't fall. Don't fall. <clears throat> Boom! The War of Jokes and Riddles, DC Universe Rebirth, Batman, number 29. Very nice, very nice. I love this whole stack of old ones and modern ones. You, did, you really did out... You, yeah. You really did outdo yourself there, Mr. Grant. Now let's look what's inside. He says, look what's inside. Maybe it's the $100 bills in this, not in the envelopes. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 snap. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is an auto... By, uh, why is that? I know that auto's familiar. It's, uh, shoot. Well, it's by the guy who did cover art. But what's his name again? Uh, 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 Editor in Chief, Colors. Is that Samson? Yeah, I think it is Walter Samson. Nice, check it out. Right there, guys. Be careful. Run up. I'll get close for you. Right there on the bottom. Boom. Autographed. By Walter Sampson. Nice. Now I gotta put this in a beautiful... Look at this. Great condition. Oh. My friend. You really did outdo yourself. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. I'm not sure how to repay you, but I'll figure out something. I'll just repay you by getting you more stuff. <laughs> but yes, very, 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 very satisfied with this box. Especially with the autograph. Top it all off. Guys, I'm telling you, if you want a box curated to whatever you like, down below the link. Grant's Comics on Instagram. Tell him what you want. He'll hook you up. Um, tell me uh, in the comments which comic was your favorite. I, I went through, uh, I don't know, like 50? Can we count it? Maybe. Should I count it? Nah, I won't count it. It's too much work. But yeah, I'll go with 50. So, guys, there's a lot of wealth of greatness out there. And people want, want to share their collections with you. So, use Instagram. Use Reddit. Talk to people. There are people willing to help you get your collections back up to what they belong or what they were or fill in the holes that you missed. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit like, subscribe, drop some comments, man. I got more videos coming. Chubby Bob Chesa is out.